My name is Chad Wells. I'm executive chef and general manager at the Rockfish Raw Bar and Grill. And today we're going to cook some blue catfish. You know, I like to use invasive fish. You know, every time you're taking a bite out of a snakehead, that's one rockfish that's maybe living another day to breed a little bit more. Blue catfish is also is another invasive species. Um, it's one that's kind of slipped under the radar a little bit. So I'm just gonna show something quick and easy that you can do if you catch one, or if it's something that you find, if you're able to find one in a store. This is a blackening seasoning that I made from cumin, cayenne, cinnamon, coriander, paprika, and some brown sugar. Uh, I like to make them a little bit sweeter because a lot of people when they think about blackening they think of just spicy. This has got a little bit of heat, it's also got a little bit of sweet to go behind it. Alright, so what we're going to do is just blacken the fish. To blacken it is just season it on both sides and you want to make sure that it's packed in. And a good trick to getting a good sear is you want to make sure that your fish is actually not too wet before you put the seasoning on it. And now that it's coated, you've got to heat the pan up. With blackening you're looking for really high heat. So we want to make sure that we get some smoke going in the pan. So you're just going to gently take the fish. And then take a uh, fish spatula. And it's going to want to press down on it slightly. And what this will do is help you get an even sear across it. Right now, a couple tricks. Just a quick tip about searing fish in general, especially when you're blackening. If you were to pick this up and move it, and the fish does not move on its own or slide across the pan, don't try to coax it off the pan. If you try to get it off the pan like this, you're going to end up tearing the, the fish up, and your sear, that means your sear is not done. Once it's ready to release itself, it'll gently release itself on its own from the heat. If you look at it now, it just lifts right up. So now when you move it, the fish slides across the pan. And typically when you get that, that means you're ready to turn it. And we're still running at a high heat, so you got to be careful when you turn it not to splash oil everywhere. So I like to tilt the pan downward to get the oil at the bottom of the pan. And now see so you've got to even sear a nice little crust going on on the fish. Now at this point, you're going to want to get the same sear going on. Just press down lightly again. And you're going to drop your heat. It's ready to go. You're starting to see them in grocery stores, believe it or not. We've created a massive, massive market for it to the point now to where, you know, it just it's more economically viable for the average person to be eating a fish like that. It's better for a restaurant to be buying a fish like that. But the best way to get anything is to go get it yourself. I mean, you know, there's there's nothing more peaceful than spending a day on a river and just getting to fish and, and getting to see nature around you.